niggas still fucking talking. You niggas still breathing. Fucking roaches. 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 Yes. Listen, I want to talk about a few things fairly quickly. I'm going to try to be quick. I just want to say a couple things. Listen, I don't have any beef with anybody. I don't know these dudes. All right? I'm not a tough guy. I don't pretend to be. But if I smell hot, nasty, fishy, P-U-S-S-Y, then that's what I smell. It's not grandma's collard greens and okra. Well, then you might say, Ultrasound, why are you making a trolling session? <laughs> nah, I'm not making a trolling session. It's a roasting session because I still smell P-U-S-S-Y. And I want to say this first as an introduction. If you're really into the education and the mystery behind this Tupac and Biggie. Go back and watch all the people who've ever spoken on Tupac. I mean, all of them. There's at least 500 videos, maybe, roughly, and over hours of information. Even the ones you don't agree with, and especially the ones with good interviews from people who really been around Pac and knew Pac. Well, except for one. He has some good interviews. I'll give him that. In the beginning, he has some good interviews. But he's no longer neutral. He was. Now he's not. Now his boyfriend is locked up. So he's just sitting around waiting for collect calls. But these dudes who just started two years, four years ago. I, watch him watch him and listen to the, the, uh, the buffoonery and the cooning. One of them took all of his Tupac content down <laughs> because he got smoked online for his clickbait. So you can't watch his. The other one thinks that he can talk about you live on air. He can talk whatever he want. But if you turn around and talk about him, he wants to flag your video or send out a decease and sis like a P-U-S-S-Y. Thinks he's going to come here to Cali and be protected. <laughs> the type of soft boy who always tells you to suck his oops. Not knowing in the old school. He claims to be from the old school, but in the old school, that's a death wish, homeboy. He's internet tough. He's soft. Wears a bacon neck t-shirt or t-shirts. And three button collars that don't fit that hang to the side over here and hang to the side over there. You know who I'm talking about, that guy. Sausage, pork chop, eating motherfucker. The next one, he's supposed to be a gospel guy. You know the one with the cigar? Who can hardly breathe when he talks? The minion shaped pudgy bastard? Yeah, that dude. Claims he's a Christian but talks about hiding dope in the church. Fucking hypocrite. This is the kicker too. Both of them have this interview. Search Kevin Hackey. And you'll know who I'm talking about. And listen to these two clowns talk about nothing for two hours. Watch them talk about how much punani they can get or that they get it's the funniest shit in the world i didn't listen to all that for two hours hell no it, uh, no then look at their faces and tell me if they get punani at all without paying for it even if that <laughs> these dudes did a two-hour show going on and off topic mostly off I mean, who can learn from people like that? Then they brag about, you know, colluding with known criminals and taking likeness to known criminals. I mean, you just get dumber and dumber listening to them. I mean, if you down with criminals, that's cool. I'm not, I'm not about that life. I don't, I don't, I don't do that. But I'm like, why are these dudes keep? 
popping up and showing up in my recommendations. And I'm like, oh yeah, I was still subscribed to these morons. So I clicked and clicked out. And lastly, this dude who says he has the number one Tupac channel on YouTube. Since fucking when? Since when? Who have you interviewed? Who has any of these dudes interviewed? And this last dude, he got a drop from Napoleon and that makes you the number one channel for the Tupac nation or whatever you want to call it. Everybody knows Gaddafi was the best outlaw and the favorite outlaw and the closest to Pac. And he's gone. Then he, excuse me, he pronounces Machiavelli. Machiavelli with an F. How the hell are you number one? How are you the number one Tupac channel but can't pronounce Machiavelli? It's not Macafelli. Who the f- Who is Macafelli? Sounds like a phony to me. Sounds like he got saliva running down his mouth when he says it too. I'm I'm sorry. I'm I'm just saying like I just it's right there. The proof is right there. People avoid these bozos. When it comes to Biggie and Tupac, the information they just want likes and subscribers they're not here to you know educate you you know they're not here to inform you they're here for entertainment which is fine which is cool or whatever but i see a lot of you people in the comment section taking them seriously if you want to be informed and educated stick to the big gene deals the newcomer J.M. Kazi. He's been around for a while, but J.M. Kazi. Yes, J. Mix and R.J. Bond and Michael Carlin. I hope I'm not forgetting anybody. Oh, yeah. The Art of Dialogue. He's humble. He's another humble dude. You actually get to learn something for a change from these people. Not getting dumber as you listen to the others. That's all I want to say. Y'all know who I'm talking about when I say those three people in the beginning. Or those four people in the beginning. Y'all know what's up. I don't claim to be this this connoisseur of, of, of Tupac and Biggie. No, I'm feeding off the information that I'm getting. Plus of what I already know. But I dig deep. A lot of these dudes claim to be critical thinkers and and, and and thinking I think very deeply. No, you don't. And I'm not here for no competition or anything like that because YouTube, there's, there's no competition when it comes to this. I do this because I want to. I don't do it for fun. I don't do it to entertain I do it because I feel in my mind, in my body, in my heart, in my soul. I grew up off Tupac. I grew up off Biggie. I did that. The first time I heard Tupac, I was five years old. When he was alive. When he was alive. We're talking about his first album. His first movie. A lot of these dudes came around after... Or during All Eyes on Me. That's when Tupac was popular to them. And a lot of these other dudes came along. I'm assuming. Tupac Resurrection. <laughs> they don't even talk about uh, uh, Are You Still Down. I don't talk about that. That's right after Machiavelli. I'm just saying. Like I said I ain't here to start no beef. I ain't here to troll. I'm roasting. I'm putting these motherfuckers in their place. And if they if they got something to say, then they go ahead and say it then. But they're not. They're not gonna say it. Cause they're P U S S Y. 
They're just flat out idiotic morons. That's all I want to say. <laughs>